I am like sweating profusely. It is so hot up here. <sighs> now I would have my fan on, but it would be way too loud for the video. So my window's open, but I'm actually not getting anything from the window. So if you see me sweating, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? It's Lietta and welcome back to my channel. I've been getting a lot of um, Instagram DMs recently about how life is at Sonoma State University. If you didn't know, I go to Sonoma State and yeah, they were asking me questions to put in a video. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And yeah, all right, let's just get started. I wrote notes on my phone. So if you see me looking on my phone, that's why. I literally wrote so much on my phone about this, okay. All right, so I just finished up my sophomore year at Sonoma State, which is crazy. I don't know where the time went. It honestly went by so fast. Ah, I don't even know. Freshman year, I lived in Bordeaux, which is one of the four villages for freshman housing. There's Bordeaux, Cab, Zinfandel, and then Saab, and I lived in Bordeaux. With seven other girls, which was crazy like ay, ay, ay. seven girls four bedrooms they were all doubles and two bathrooms and then we had like a shared living room so we didn't even have a kitchen mm, I don't even know I actually have a dorm tour from freshman year if you guys want to see that I'll have it linked down below um, but yeah I lived in Bordeaux which is fine I guess but seven other girls is, mm, mm. <laughs> um, and then sophomore year, I lived in Beaujolais, which is one of the three options for um, sophomores or like juniors. So sophomores or juniors could live in Sauv, Beaujolais, or Tuscany. So Bouge, where I lived, it's four singles. So ooh. Um, everyone has a single bedroom and then everyone has their own bathroom as well, which is so nice. I freaking loved Bouge. And then we had a shared living room and then a shared kitchen. Though the kitchen was like really small and it's kind of hard to like make food when someone else is trying to make food so that was a struggle but we made it work it's fine um i lived with three other girls two of which were my roommates from freshman year and we loved each other so much that we were like oh my god let's live together again <laughs> it sounds so sarcastic but honestly though i love those girls so much michelle and odd if you're watching Okay, I love you. Rosie too. Rosie was our fourth roommate and we actually odd put it on like Facebook and was like, hey, like me and my other roommates are looking for another girl to room with us next year. If you're interested, let me know. And then Rosie messaged her and then we met um, for dinner, like at the end of freshman year. And then it was so nice. Oh my God, Rosie, I love you too. If you're watching, I miss you. Um, I'm gonna miss rooming with you guys. Oh, okay, anyways. I had so many vlogs with them in it. You should go check it out. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. We chose to live in Bouge because we all wanted singles and Tuscany has like two singles and then two doubles. And that was not gonna work for us because we all wanted singles. And of course, Bouge because we all bougie, bad and bougie. Just kidding, oh my God. Mm. I, okay, I don't know why I said that, I hate myself. Okay, anyways. Year, this year, since I'm gonna be a junior, I actually got a house with three of my sorority sisters. I'm so excited. I'm actually filming in my room in the new house right now. Yay! Um, so, yeah. Um, we all have our own bedrooms as well. And then we share two bathrooms. And then we have a living room, kitchen, and a big freaking backyard. Like, I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> And honestly, like setting up, like, this is not even about Sonoma. Anyways, um, setting up like Wi-Fi and water and garbage and like electricity. I don't know why, but we like struggled to do that. Like we legit all forgot to do our part. And we all texted in the group chat. And we're like, eh, I'll do it tomorrow. Sorry, I forgot guys. But yeah, it's all good now. We're good. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be living in a house. If you guys want a um, room tour of my room this year, let me know. I would love to do that. I'm honestly probably still gonna do that even if you don't tell me, so yeah. <laughs> Actual school stuff. So I'm gonna be a junior this year. That honestly still blows my mind. Like I'm a junior. I am 
halfway done with college, like what? I am a business marketing major with a minor in mathematics. Why am I a minor in math? I don't know. You tell me, please tell me because I sometimes I question my choice. Like why am I a math minor? Because math honestly makes me want to cry every single minute of every single day. But you know what? It'll be worth it in the end. I hope. <laughs> so sophomore year, I took four classes, which was uh, which were Oh, okay First semester, I took microeconomics, macroeconomics And then I took um, computer science And then I was an English TA first semester of sophomore year And then second semester, business 225, which was business law Business 230A, which was financial accounting. I took math 211, which was calc 2. And then I took history 251. So those classes I had mostly on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I had my history class Monday and Wednesdays. And then Tuesday and Thursday I had all of my major and minor class, which was really stressful on those days. Like it was really hard to get up at 8 a.m. <sighs> but it was all worth it. I honestly like having all my classes or most of my classes all in one day it's just so I can get it over with and then those two other days I can just like relax and do homework if needed. This year I will be taking Math 241 which is Calc 3, Business 230B which is Managerial Accounting, um, Business 316 which is Production Operations Management, and then GEP 206 just for like GE classes and then I'm taking Pilates because I don't know I always wanted to take Pilates and this is the first time that I can get into a freaking kin class without it being like out like I had a registration time that allowed me to get a kin class I was like score yes so I had to take my take my chance um yeah, I'm, I'm sweating, can you tell? Ooh. Okay, anyways, classes, not that big. You should take the opportunity to get to know your professors because personally, I love getting to know my professors. I personally like getting to know my professors on like a personal level because, I don't know, I like having a relationship with them so I'm not like afraid to ask them for help because it's more of like a friendship. like. Professors in college are not like your teachers in high school. They will treat you like an adult. Like my professor, my English professor freshman year, I was her TA first semester um, sophomore year and we would like go out to eat lunch together. And it was normal and it, I don't know, it just wasn't weird. Like you see your professors around campus, you talk to them when they're getting coffee, when you're getting coffee. Like it's just, it's like a friendship, you know? But you have to make an effort to get to know them because also, if you get to know them, they are more willing to help you. You know what I mean? Like, if you show them that you care and that you want to do good in their class, like, yeah, they're more willing to help you. Also, my Calc 2 teacher loved him so much. Like, Andre Minor, shout out to you. I'm taking you again for Calc 3. You are the best math teacher ever. Like, it must be hard to make Calc fun, and you made Calc fun. Anyways, <laughs> about diversity. Um, I'm gonna be honest, there's not a lot of diversity in Sonoma State. Like, it's mostly white. Which isn't a problem, like, that's not a problem at all. But, yeah, there is a lack of diversity in Sonoma State, but I think it's getting better. I think it's getting better. I don't know. Yeah. But, with that said, there is there's no, like, racial tension here. Everyone gets along, like, or from what I see. Anyways, everyone gets along. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> about getting involved. Okay, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting involved. Like, it will change your whole college experience. It personally changed mine. Um, I am in a sorority. I am Gamma Phi Beta. If you guys didn't know, probably didn't know if you guys watched my videos, but if you didn't, yeah, I am Gamma Phi Beta. Um, and I can personally say being in a sorority, like, at first I wasn't in a sorority and 
I did not enjoy my time in Sonoma. Like it was boring, or I thought it was boring and I didn't have a lot to do because I wasn't even in clubs and I didn't do sports and I didn't do anything. Like I was just going to class. That's it. And then I joined a sorority and now I have like people to see, friends to go out with and eat and explore and go hiking with. And it's just, it's so fun. And I know Greek life isn't for everybody. Like don't get me wrong, you don't have to join Greek life if, if like you don't feel that's for you, do you. Like, I'm not pushing Greek life onto you, but if you want to join Greek life, like, I'd strongly recommend. It's so fun. Um, but if not, like, join a club, do a sport, even intramural sports. Like, do something. Like, get involved because if you're just going to class and then going home and eating and then going to class and repeat, like, it's, you're honestly going to feel bored and feel like you want to transfer. But if you, like... Get involved. <laughs> I don't know, you'll like enjoy your time here. I promise. Or at least I hope so. Or even just like showing up to school events, like big night or like pack the den or lip jam um, or any like school event, go show up. Like you're gonna meet people at those events that you probably won't meet any other way. And they might even end up being one of your closest friends. <laughs> so Sonoma State, you probably already know if you guys are going to Sonoma, is in a small town called Roner Park, a friendly city. Um, and at first glance, you're going to be like, there's nothing to do around here, which honestly probably is kind of sort of true. But you have to like be willing to go out and adventure. Like we're so close to Petaluma. We're so close to Santa Rosa, to Sebastopol. Um, to Bodega. Bodega is only like 45 minutes away if you guys want to go see a beach. We're so close to like amazing hikes, viewpoints if you want to see like city lights at night. Sonoma Mountain is a great one. Um, Gravity Hill. Um, hikes like Crane Creek. Um, Sonoma Mountain Hike. Um, Annadale Park. I think I don't remember that. Is Santa Rosa maybe? I could be wrong. But yeah, we're near a lot of like cities and towns so go explore there's gonna be a lot of freaking hikes we want food food i love food um petaluma downtown petaluma has great food they have like the tea room cafe which is so cute they have lala's creamery love lala's creamery if you know me you know um there's um petaluma pie company which is great um, Chicago Pizza, Slice of Life in Sebastopol if you're vegan. Slice of Life is a great vegan restaurant, highly recommend. Um, my roommates and I used to go there all the time and then we stopped. But we miss it so much. I miss it so much. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, just like go explore, you know? Go out, go out of your boundaries. This is college, you need to go. Also, sorry if I'm touching my hair a lot. Um, but yeah, you need to go out and Explore, man. Don't just stay in Roner Park because Roner Park can be boring. Not gonna lie. <laughs> That's all for my video. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down below or you can send me them on Instagram and I will be happy to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're going to Sonoma State, fall of 2018, I will see you there, hopefully. If you want to say hi, say hi. I want to be friends with you guys. I need more friends. Like, if you want to get coffee, we can get coffee. If you want to get food, we can get food. If you want to go shopping, we can go shopping. <laughs> if you want to go on a hike, I'm so down for a hike. Just like, message me. Let me know. If you see me around campus, say hey. Don't be scared, you know? Say hi to random people. I say hi to random people. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, like I said, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!